This year, Toowoomba Regional Council invested in innovative solutions to meet the growing demand on water and waste infrastructure across the region and stepped up our war on waste. By working in partnership with our community, we were able to maximise infrastructure resilience and ensure the sustained economic prosperity of the region. This year, we invested in major infrastructure projects to extend the region's water and sewer networks to meet our significant future population growth, including construction of the trunk water mains on Hursley, Toowoomba Cecil Plains, Nass and Worth Roads a $20 million project to provide reticulated wastewater collection to residents in Kingsthorpe and Gowrie Junction neared completion, along with a $3.3 million project to service an existing unsewered section of the Pittsworth Industrial Precinct, which is enabling economic development for that town. Tenders were invited for the 8.2 megalitre Wellcamp Water Reservoir Project. The trunk water mains and reservoir in this project will provide a secure water supply to the Toowoomba Enterprise Hub. A $2.8 million project to connect Hodgson Vale to the Toowoomba bulk water supply also gained traction, with tenders for project work invited in June 2018. Council is always looking for ways to work smarter and more sustainably, and in September we became the first council in Queensland to join a trial with Eureka Energy to reduce the peak use of electricity when pumping water from our dams, which will save ratepayers money. New waste management facilities were constructed and opened to the public at Cecil Plains, Kuya and Evergreen, with upgraded facilities ensuring greater opportunity for recycling and reuse. Council also began planning for the reintroduction of the Queensland Government's waste disposal levy, which will be introduced on the 4th of March next year. Expressions of interest to develop the landfill gas resource project at the Toowoomba Waste Management Facility were also called for during the financial year. It has been a pleasure serving Council as Chair of the Water and Waste Committee this year and I am excited about the leading role we continue to play in our community to deliver sustainable and cost-effective water, waste and sewage solutions for our region.